is the running back. Play action. And Manning's going to heave one. There's, oh, there's a flag. Beckham, a one-handed catch. How in the world? Oh, my goodness. And Brandon Carr was back there. I mean, he is insane. How do you make that catch? Oh, my goodness. This is sick. Put this to music. I don't think he stepped out either. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Number 39. Penalty's declined. Result of the play. Touchdown. You have to be kidding me. That is impossible. Watch the route by Allen. It's an out and up and then come back to it. And Carlton Davis is in, he's in great position. How does he not get that football? And that's what he's going to be asked in Phil. That's what he's asking himself right now. He could not have played that better. And Keenan Allen goes up, catches it, gets both feet down. What a tremendous play. They are not going to give him the first down. He's a half yard shy. Fourth and 12. Boy, lays it up. They're going to rule it a completion. And remember, we do have replays. This is an awesome catch. Falk has great coverage. But see, he put his left arm on. Look, he catches off his back and holding on to the football. That's incredible. That's a that great is job the of the catch effort. of the year. And Mark, Mark he, he, he's making a blind catch. He doesn't even see it. He's just using his back and he's squeezing. That might be one of the best catches I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of them. That is the catch of the year in college football. Pro throw. He's down. Put it on his neck. On the neck of Jasper Falk. Here's Edelman broken up, and the pass is no sign yet. Edelman comes down with a football, and they're saying it's a catch. Let's see who comes down with it. Oh, that's a catch. Oh, my God. That's incredible. That's amazing concentration by Julian Edelman to be able to make a play Atlanta on that. Is challenging the ruling on the field of a completed pass. We'll review the play. The ball was resting on the arm of Ricardo Allen and Edelman able to re-grab it before he hits the ground. I check with Mike Pereira in our booth. He thinks it's a catch and the play is being challenged by Atlanta. And it should have been an interception. Russell in the pocket. Russell for Carson. It's broken up again. And just walked off under his own power on third down. Locke looking end zone for Sutton. And the diving attempt. Did he get it? Touchdown! What a catch! The first NFL touchdown for Drew Locke. And his parents love it in Denver. We got to take another look at this one because it didn't look like Sutton was going to have a chance. And Sutton, who is matched up with his third quarterback of the year and is having a Pro Bowl type season, really making a huge step forward in the second year, he's fighting off Casey Hayward with his left arm. Can't get the right, that left arm there. But that ball looks like it may skid out of his hand as he touches the ground. I don't know about this one. Uh, I, I love the way it looks. You know, his hand is under that ball. Did the ball move enough for the replay official to think that that's not a catch? Straight drop, going deep, going deep in that direction. And he reaches out and makes the grab and takes it to the four-yard line. So Chase, wide right, Ramsey is one of the best. Lays it up for Freeman, and it's incomplete. It, or did he, can he make the catch at the 15? Yes. What are they going to roll? Did he caught it? Touchdown. <laughs> he did what? The ref was he, right on there, I think. Oh, man. Man, how did Dishman not intercept it? Well, the Packers are going wild. The crowd's going wild. It, I imagine there's nothing to challenge, but they'll have to look at it upstairs. Hand tack, well, he's laughing, but let's see what it shows on the replay. It never hit the ground. It hit the back of Antonio Freeman. Wow. Oh. 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 Left you? arm, bring the ball up in the air, and he oh. 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 six inches off the grass. What a Unbelievable awareness of where the 
football is we are reviewing the play on the field. The touchdown. Once again, we are reviewing the play on the field. Ball went through Dishman's hands. He He's never hit it. the ground. Well, they're trying to bring the teams back onto the field if they overturn it, but I haven't seen anything to overturn it yet. No, it's just a great fluky play for the pack. And Tack Look hasn't even that. gotten over to the... Uh, and then there's no the contact. Dishman didn't even tidy up afterwards. He just assumed that it hit the ground. And Murray's going to set up to heave it deep downfield, and that ball is caught. Hopkins with two defenders there. Wow. Allen fakes the handoff, steps up in the pocket. Far side of the field is broken up. What is it caught? Davis off the deflection. Incredible. There is a flag thrown just in front of the play. What concentration by Davis. If it sticks, it's a pickup of 36. Defense number 30. Penalties decline. First down. Boy, Gabriel Davis mentioned the slow start to the year. Only 10 catches entering this game. Mm, Look at the concentration and finding the ball, getting the feet down. Davis had that costly drop late in the game. Second and goal. Dolph looking end zone. He throws. Oh, what a catch. C.D. Lamb for a Cowboys touchdown. Wow. Can you? I don't know if fans recognize how hard of a catch that was. Wow, looking over gets his left hands, shoulder, gets it down. That's a good, that's a touch. Oh, on the run to his right. Check out the feet. Looks like he may has a, an argument here. Question is, with the right toes on his right foot, were they down? I think they were. Jacksonville timeout 28. It is there. The pass is long to the end zone. It's caught by Marvin Jones. He beat Igbenogany a 28 yard strike and a touchdown pass right before halftime by Trevor Lawrence. Great recognition that it's man to man coverage and you go to the matchup you like the best. With both starting corners out, he decides Marvin Jones on Igbenogany is the matchup he wants to take. He puts that ball high into the outside, and Jones does an excellent job of using his body to bring it in. And we talked about it, Kevin. As much as the Dolphins had dominated here in the first half, you go down, you get a touchdown. Now, they're going to have a little bit of time, but in a lot, not a lot of time with no time. Reverse. It's Pettis to Jones. Oh, what a catch by Daniel Jones. A lunging one-hand grab from the quarterback. Dante looking like his dad, Gary, thrown from the outfield. Right, Dante. I mean, go ahead and lead him, trust him. And Daniel Jones, look at he he peeks <laughs> Chandler coming across. He's like, oh, I'm going to get hit. That's athleticism. <laughs> That's a great. And the hurry up with 115 on the clock. And here's Garcia. He is clobbered. And oh, trying to make the oh, catch, oh, and he does. Brandon Lloyd made a super one-handed catch and gets up Gimpy and kept both feet in bounds. This, this, the one last week was great. This, this is, great. is phenomenal. You have got to be kidding me. This is one for the book. The timeout, they've got two left since he had a timeout. Blocked by Williams going deep, double team. Higgins has got the ball. And the foul. Wolford getting looked at in the locker room. Goff airs it out. Underthrown, but the pass is caught by Cup. 
Cooper Cup just went up and took it away from Diggs and Adams for 45. He was late on the throw. The protection really was not all that bad. He could have got it up a lot sooner than he did, but he waited and then it was underthrown. And he, and he, is fortunate. Cup does a great job coming back to the right good. side. Keep an eye on number 14 tonight. He is tremendous. No, 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 no. Wilson has protection. Wilson's going deep and reaching for it and making the one handed grab is Tyler Lockett. Lockett. Timeout for Cincinnati. And going deep into the end zone and caught by Chase. Oh my goodness, what a grab. 34 yard touchdown throw. Chase has now come up with three long touchdown receptions in three consecutive games. 42 last week against the Bears, 50 against Minnesota, and a 34 yard bomb thrown right here by Burrow to his college teammate at LSU. What an incredible combination when you consider, as you said, Kevin, three consecutive weeks. Jackson in the traffic. It is caught. What a catch. Devin Duvernay. 